All right. All right. Thank you for waiting. We are back uh, for the final round of the Outrider Cup 2019. And we have the top two teams facing off. St. Louis versus Cleveland. Um, so for those of you just joining us, this is a team event. Uh, points are scored for every victory your team gets within a round. And pairings are also unique in this environment where every team gets to set three lists down on defense. Uh, then teams go in a reverse order of their standings to place the, uh, re their remaining lists uh, down on offense, uh, essentially picking their matchup for against the lists that have been set on defense. You do get some quirks with this system. Uh, for example, sometimes you get in a situation where there are no valid placements left. Uh, for example, you can't place a list against yourself. So when that happens, the, te the team with no remaining possible placements gets to place their list anywhere, displacing some other list. And what ended up happening was uh, Cleveland uh, ended up in that situation and chose to pair against a St. Louis list that had already been selected. Uh, so that's how we ended up with this number one versus number two. The matchup looks like it will be in Cleveland's favor on paper, but we'll see how it shakes out. We have a scum swarm versus a scum two ship. Uh, William is furiously typing away to get those lists put into our system. And we will have those up shortly. Uh, the players are currently getting asteroids down. And uh, we are updating their lists. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised by the, uh, I would say, skinniness of this Boba Fett. Uh, it has just IG-88D, uh, which when you take a calculate, you get a second calculate. And uh, has Marauder and Han Solo on it. Uh, still has a 15-point bid, but... Uh, and that's because it's two fives, so that, that makes sense, but won't do him much good in this matchup, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, Dre, uh, Dre, is a, Dre is a four, but what it will do, though, is be able to hold on to, uh, be able to hold on to those 15 points, even if one of his ship got halved. So it is sure. potential to... Uh, pull off the win uh, as far as points. This is one uh, of a potential to go to a skin game. And in, in the last round, skins uh, just disappear. Disappear. Right? Don't count for anything. It's Don't my count. understanding. They, they both take a loss. So in other words, if this game is decided by fewer than 24 points, uh, the victory does not count for either player. And there is no opportunity to carry that victory into the next round. Okay. Uh, oh, I put them on the wrong side. So let's go ahead and swap players there. And start messing with how they got their ship set up. Looks like he's got gun runners here at the top. Looks like... Drea's in the bottom. And I was, yeah. Just he was. Yeah, I'm not, I wasn't rostered. Because apparently I live too far away from Chicago. <laughs> cool, thank you. Okay. So it looks like we have, we have, we have Jakku, Jakku, Jakku. Uh, we have two mining guild ties, which we haven't seen yet. Um, and then we have a uh, tactical officer on L3. Andrea Renthal with a dorsal turret. Uh, L3's ability, when she's unshielded, she gets bank blues. Uh, tactical officer lets her take her red coordinate as white. 
And Drea provides everybody who, or excuse me, when in a ship shoots at an enemy in Drea Renthal's arc, they get a reroll. Uh, and she has the dorsal turret to get two arcs there. Uh, gun runners are little quad jumpers, and they don't do a lot, but what they can do is the space dog tractor array yep. action, uh, which allows them to place a tractor beam token onto a ship at range one. Oh, it looks like we're about to hit the timer. Yep, we had a... Oh, thank you very much. Yes! I got one of those hand cards uh, that's, myself. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I was waiting for one of Streamers those. Streamers get swag, too. Well, I'm helping out. I did a little judge calls here and there. That's true. You've been working. I just... Doing something. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Set it up. Yep. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. See, I'm even... Even making friends with the timer. Uh, so you were talking about the Jakku Gunrunners. If they oh, yes. are able to land uh, that tractor beam on Guri especially, I think would be pretty brutal. Mm. But even on Boba Fett, um, reducing agility, still pretty good. Uh, yeah, they will need to get the bullseye to get two tractors on to um, Boba Fett or use multiple quad jumpers. Right. What is really interesting is that Guri, uh, as a Star Viper has micro thrusters as a ship ability and it has to barrel roll with a curve that's bank. right even with a tractor even beam with tractor so beams. that's that's pretty silly so not not only do you move them can you move them left or right or forward you can actually tilt her uh 45 degrees yeah. when you do it too that's crazy uh which makes it pretty susceptible to those tractors yeah so this definitely looks like it sh will be in the swarm in a uh, john's favor <coughs> Yeah, so the, uh, um, so Guri, though, uh, is flown by Dan Peterson out of St. Louis. He's got outmaneuver. If you're uh, shooting a ship and you're not in its arc, they get reduced agility. He's got advanced sensors to take an action before its dial. Afterburners to, uh, if you do a three, four, or five maneuver, uh, you can uh, use one of your two charges to boost even while stressed. And also has the Virago title, um, which not only gives Guri a shield, but has two charges as well to let Guri boost at the end phase. Uh, it would stress her, it's a red boost at the end phase. Um, but those, those two abilities, being able to get so many free boosts, uh, is pretty... Uh, useful, especially when you're trying to arc dodge. Yeah, and then you just capitalize with that uh, outmaneuver mm -hmm. after all your uh, repositioning options. Yep, she also loves to be in range one because Guri gets a focus if uh, token if she's in range one, and Guri as a robot can't even normally focus. That's right. Uh, what's on that Boba Fett there? As I take away these blue numbers, uh, Boba Fett is. Uh, the chat is calling uh, Fit Boba Fett. I, think, yeah, I fit. think you said skinny Boba Fett. Yeah, lean. Um, so IG88D, uh, it basically lets you get to calculate tokens. Uh, so multiple modifications uh, with those two calculates. Uh, Marauder title uh, gives you the gunner slot, which is occupied by Han Solo. Han Solo, um, a very popular gunner upgrade card allows you before you uh engage you get a what is it you do a red focus action or is it uh, i believe it's worded as red focus action right so uh, essentially get a stress and a focus um which is great it's uh, a super efficient you could end up with all the modifications you want Boba Fett natively also gets rerolls uh, for every enemy ship at range one on offense and defense. So you get rerolls, you get to change them with your calculate and focus tokens. Uh, makes Boba really hard hitting and really hard to kill. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, but we get plenty of rerolls in this matchup, and it's going to need all the tokens possible. Uh, I prefer, I don't know, I've been going back and forth on Triple Zero or IG uh, 88D um, for Boba Fett. Because I really like boosting with him. He's kind of in the same boat as Gary there that my primary action wants to be boost. Right. Uh, so I don't, I don't find myself the very few times that I've flown Boba Fett uh, liking the double calculates. But, man, when you don't need to boost, grabbing two calculates and a focus and have rerolls does have the potential to fight the seven ship swarm yeah we'll see how both players play this uh, oh, uh good uh, one thing i did forget here you can see it already round one uh you see the mining guild ties when they move they ignore rocks now this particular tie fighter couldn't shoot off of that rock uh but he doesn't have a shot currently and i like here i like what <laughs> I like how far away yeah. this this uh, Gurry is. He's yeah. Way out there. Um, and I look like Boba just did a one forward. So Dan is trying to bait all of these TIE fighters and all of these ships to come in towards Boba, who doesn't have to go very far. So he can get Gurry in there real fast on the flank and sure. start taking out ships. Uh, Drea is going to be the uh, linchpin. Yeah. Of this list, providing those offensive rerolls. Yeah. But those quad jumpers, though, are also going to be a problem. Right. You want to take out Drea if you can, but I'm sure Drea will be very heavily screened by this uh, kind of a frontline security force mm -hmm. in front of her. Yeah, she still needs to have the enemy in range. Through, I believe, I would assume, from her placement, she's got her, she's got her dorsal here. Dorsal, I can't write on this thing, but uh, Dorsal there, uh, which is covering basically the whole board. And as she moves forward here, that line is just going to slowly increase, and there'll just be nowhere for Boba to go that doesn't have free rolls. Though, uh, Boba had to be in range of Drea, so she's kind of got to, uh, what do I want to say, put herself in the fight. Sure. She can't just hang out back in forever. That's true. Uh, I do want to say here, uh, Tim or Sir Timalot, uh, you can never have enough tugs. Because <laughs> it's, it's really not three, because sometimes one of them just gets evaporated. Sure. And then you have two. <laughs> sure, sure. Oh, yeah, it looks like they, he's, he's covering the bottom of the board. And Boba, once again, he's. Cause where is this? So we got rock here, 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 here. So there's no rocks anywhere down here in this whole in this whole zone right right and right. that's probably where Bulba wants to be yeah but he's gonna have to face down this whole swarm though i wouldn't be surprised wouldn't be surprised a nice little hard one and scoot out of there you yeah maybe I mean? want do the little one forward why don't you come over in the corner play over here and then uh force him to give chase mm -hmm. maybe and boba can shoot out of the rear arc so it doesn't really mind no Yep, incredibly fast, so he can continue to keep boosting. Because he still gets the reroll from the Marauder uh, title, uh, he still is getting some modification, even if he's just boosting away. Uh, if you imagine, like, he where, it, where he lands, there's three ships at range two or three or so. Right. But if he boosts, there's only one ship. Yeah, sure. He might, might as well. And it looks like they're cutting in hard here. Yeah, definitely looking to gun down this Boba Fett. I don't know if uh, Dan is biophysical. I think that's their team captain, uh, or um, along with Matthew, or I guess it would be their alternate, um, along with Matthew Carey. I have to double check that. I haven't read uh, Biophysical's blog in a bit. I wonder if he's still making new content. All right, well, Boba's. Boba's not scared. All right, get in there. I mean, definitely uh, won't have Dre rerolls. We'll definitely have uh, three tokens for defense. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm kind of already thinking next turn, you know, can this gunrunner get in close enough range one to, to lay a tractor down? Maybe even this one as well? Uh, I'm not oh. sure how fast these... 
They can go three forward. Three forward. So maybe. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, if that Jakku could just go three forward and go having the tractor beam, but I don't, I don't exactly think so. But that bulb is not sticking around very soon. Just um, do you lose one agility for each tractor no. token? You just no. lose one it's total. Hard, it's got a hard cap of one, All so right. that you won't see eight tugboats on the board. Sure. So it looks like uh, it spins the focus. Oh, man, we should probably have numbers for these, too. I just took some away. <laughs> like a fool. We're going to need those back. We'll need uh, five of them. Yep, we're going to go. Here's some, here's some blue numbers here for these. Quad jumpers, blue... Three. So we got one, two. Two three. dice, two hits. Let's see what Boba's got. Boba oh, Fett. Easy calculate there. Two evades. Then. Two dice, one hit. Boba Fett evades. Yeah, it's the story of Boba Fett's life. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Find these. Find these numbers. So these are going to be reds. Are going to be tie fighters for now. Go one and two there. So it looked like uh, number three. We're going to switch these. Uh, looks like the third gun runner there took just a single damage. But Boba came off unscathed, so. No damage there. Yep. Uh, Gary's lining up her shot. Didn't go as fast as I thought she would. Uh, yeah, probably wanted to make sure that John wasn't going to turn that way. <laughs> yeah, all the ships did go in. That's fair. But uh, next turn can, do they have a five forward? Probably just a four forward, huh? The Star, Star Viper. Uh, just a 4-4. Four four. And then he could boost off he of can, that. He can afterburners boost and then barrel roll. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll have to see how fast these TIE uh, fighters he move. To, he might be able to have set up the lane to boost with advanced sensors four forward. And then maybe either barrel roll this way or uh, just stay there, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I think that I like the Gurian uh, it's a little farther back, but I think it's got uh, the choice of lane there. Yeah, and I, I think she'll uh, clean up nicely once she gets into range. Oh, okay. So Dan, Dan is uh, the confessions of a Midwest scrub. Is what is the information I'm getting, which is. Uh, um, him and Biophysical and Matthew Carey um, write a bunch of articles and stuff um, from the, the point of view of the Arch Alliance out down in uh, St. Louis. Sweet. Um, here there's a snowstorm last night. My mother lives just south of Indy. Send me some pics. Uh, yeah, it's been snowing all day. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nasty, unfortunately. Are you dr you're driving back with Dion today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be... Rough. Oh, then I got to drive back to Iowa. I got to drive across to Tonight? Illinois. Yeah. Jeez. I got a van, though, so. And winter tires. Yeah, but it's going to be like 11 when you leave Chicago. Yeah, I've, I've, what, have we, what have we been doing today, though? Sitting and talking about <laughs> X-Wing? <laughs> I think I'll be okay. okay. probably true. <laughs> Eating cookies and <laughs> pizza. Yeah. I think I'll be okay. I'll be excited to be home, so. I'm sure that the terrifying roads will keep me awake. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got dials down. Looks like that Q is coming in for that tractor beam or a block. Thank you for the subscribe or share. Was that a share or subscribe? Subscribe. Press Peace. A to podcast. Thank you so much.
All right, looks like we, we we're going to see a big old tractor beam here. Looking for that bullseye. Just out. What is your third favorite color? I feel like this is some sort of joke. Uh, well, our first favorite colors have to be gold and something, right? Gold and black. I guess. I would say blue. Blue's probably my favorite color. I, it's not, I don't know if it's my favorite color. I just wear a lot of blue. Oh, cardinal yellow. Hilarious. Cardinal oh. yellow is a good, <laughs> good color. <laughs> <laughs> Dion's Dion, Dion right in front Those of us. Birds. He remembers. Uh, my, my. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend's a birder. She watches birds. She's, she's nice. Uh, she's, she would be so mad at that. <laughs> Does she travel for that too? Sometimes. Yeah, because I, I I know uh, one of my friends who like travels all over the world for for birds. We've been it's trying to plan a trip to Alaska to go birding. That's great. Never thought that would happen in my life. So it looked like two reversed or hasn't moved yet. Is it two's dial still down? I'm not sure what. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was going to say, did he not move yet? There it, the, he is still reversing, though. Trying to wide out those arcs. Uh, I always think of quad jumper reverses almost like weird K turns. If that makes sense, because you're you're putting your arc back where it was. Oh, you know what I mean. Kind so, of. So like, if you do, if you shoot and then do a 4K, you put your arc back where it, it was last round. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And if you're at an angle like this, then you can uh, you can switch directions too. Mm. So kind of like a sloop yeah. at that point. It's a weird way to think about it, but uh, opting not to. Coordinate there with L3. It's very surprising. It's normally what she does. But also could have a bulb, uh, decent Boba shot here. And it's the only way she can modify her dice. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if Boba goes fast, mm -hmm. um, John's probably just really hedging for, for what Boba's going to do. He goes slow. Perhaps he bumps. He goes fast. He catches a bunch of those arcs. Uh, probably still catching four arcs. Yeah, it looks like he's going right there. Uh, yeah. He's staying at range one of one of those quad jumpers, so he will get a reroll if he stays put. I kind of, yeah, I don't mind that position too much, because at least, at least Dre can't shoot. Her dorsal is only going to here. Uh, this this doesn't have any modification. Uh, this one only has the Dre reroll, and Boba gets two dice. Uh, this one, this is a good shot, and this is a good shot. That'll happen. And then maybe and then, this is a range three as well. Sure. So probably doing the best he can. Boba does have 10 health, though. And a pretty good rear arc shot there on that quad jumper. Yeah, that's not bad. Why not? It's got no token. It's at range one. You got double uh, modifier. Oh, no. Well, then... <laughs> well, kind of uh, slid the template a little bit there. Got, I think it got stuck to his it's finger. It's getting late in the day. I don't think he did it on purpose. Oh, he was boosting anyways. I thought it was his maneuver, so. Yeah, so that would be uh, that be failed boost then. So I think he opted for the lock. All right, see three paint there, uh, counting as two hits. Thank you for putting it in the dice box. That's what he did. Because it was, I keep rolling off the score. Uh, oh, I made it worse now. Uh, I believe that was a afterburners. So it was not a it was a failed action, but not his perform action. Okay, did the token flip on those afterburners? Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. And there's a uh, four dice primary from Boba. Into to Q three. Takes direct uh, hit. Direct and kills it. Yep. Yep. 
Takes so it that's, down. that's not bad, huh? No, a little revenge there for a tractor beam on him. Uh, did Gary's damage do shot then? Or you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, I it must have. Uh, oh, uh, Drea there. Yeah, I see one shield off of Drea. Yep. So this was a uh, uh, Dorsa was in range there. Spends the focus for two. To see evade, so it takes one off of Boba. Oh, by eliminating that ship, you take away your rerolls. Ooh. That could come back to bite him. So this was L3's calculate to one. Got it. Oh, yeah, that's I didn't realize that. Yeah, so that could, that could hurt. Maybe Boba doesn't care. I think Gary's going to win this game over Boba. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? The way it's going now. You know what I mean? That, like... Boba's just here to do this. So it looks like uh, another shield here. Honestly, if he gets away without a hull damage. It's not bad. Fair trade, in my opinion. And checking for range from that last tie. It was range one. No. Uh, oh, Drea, reroll. So we get hit, hit, crit. Oh, blanked out. Taking a Ooh, crit. Takes the crit, and crit is, can't see it. Uh, we'll find out what that was. Uh, somebody asked about the escape craft. Specifically, uh, Dre's ability works on uh, unnamed pilots only, and uh, all the escape craft are unique. Oof. Uh, the last shot of the round here, a uh, big one. Oh, man. This Boba Fett is in some trouble. Yep, takes Down to one. Uh, two. two. Down to two. And, and not done yet. One last shot in here. Dread hit, to hit. Two. Uh, is, that, is that done? Yep. <clears throat> I think you should have opted for the reinforce. Yep. Or kept that other ship alive at range one. Well, you don't. <laughs> you don't know that you're gonna kill it uh, with four hits. So, ouch. Yeah, I think I maybe would have opted to shoot the quad jumper in front of me at range one to strip the focus. But oh yeah, <clears throat> yeah. But, but if there's an that's, opportunity, that's hindsight, right? Of course. <laughs> if there's an opportunity to eliminate a ship, go for it. All right. Well, we've traded 28 for 91. Though this Guri's just down one afterburner, so chat's lighting up about that. Fatretsis. Lots of missed triggers. Oh, interesting. Uh, they only they claimed that this uh, quad jumper number one was in range one. Uh, it might have been the Tie Fighter actually, because remember that Tie Fighter rolled three dice. Yeah, but that would still give him a reroll throughout that whole combat phase. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So that that uh, mistake of not realizing that there was still a ship in range. One right, it wasn't. In, it wasn't until that ship attacked. Do they find out that, it was? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, and uh, in this situation, uh, you, you got to recognize that you uh, you need to look for every possible trigger. Yeah, that hurts. Um, Could have saved him. I mean, he still would have been hurting for sure. Mm -hmm. Could have saved him the two damage, or at least the one damage. On those couple of blanks, you know? Yeah, definitely. Three blanks, third of a chance to roll and evade. Should get at least one. And he had calculates, too, so the, the numbers on that goes up to five out of eight. Uh, yeah, long day. Well, Oop. I'm sure he's not pleased about the matchup either. Long drive back to St. Louis from here. I uh, won't. Uh, won't forget.
Okay, so if he had reinforced um, instead of calculating, and he didn't take Han Solo focus either turn, is that right? That's because he wanted to three bank or four forward to leave. Right, okay. So if he had reinforced rather than calculate. Calculate's also red, though, so he's in the same problem that he can't, can't go fast. Um, <clears throat> I think the... Mm, it's hard to say, but uh, I wouldn't put it past this Gary. Sure. Because all she needs to do is just take a shot or two and then leave. And then f come back, take a shot or two, and then leave. Yeah, 50 minutes to do it. Uh, it really only needs to kill. And so 91... Uh, kill a couple more, two more quad jumpers and L3, and he pulls off the win. Uh, Drea and a quad jumper would also get him the win. So he only needs to kill four, four of these ships. Okay, that's doable. Uh, well, yeah, so three more. I think just two if he kills Drea, though. And keeping in mind that this is only one of Cleveland and St. Louis's total of six games this round. Mm -hmm. This is the only game against each other. Right. Um, but uh, as a team event, the whole team contributes. Um, obviously, this is an important game for both of these teams because it could swing the lead one way or the other. Mm -hmm. um, but if this game ends up as a, a modified win, so to speak then, uh, you know, the rest of the games Cleveland and St. Louis are playing will, uh, you know, will, will matter even more. Oh, yeah. And then Cleveland is leading right now. That's true. So they would really appreciate the win. Or it's really not. It's not really that they need the win. They don't want to give the win to St. Louis. Yeah, Who's right. trailing them at number two. Right. Uh, so, Skirkin asks, just to be sure, I emailed PM on Twitch and Facebook. Is that enough <laughs> to be sure I get my templates? That sounds sufficient well, to me. Uh, we do not have access to the Gold Squadron email, um, but I'm sure that all sounds like proper protocol to me. Yeah, no. Uh, actually, Facebook, if you Facebook our page, I think we have a page. Yeah. Or is it just a group? No, there, there's a there's a Gold Squadron page. Yeah. Okay. I guess I never even looked. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that's a great way to re reach us at any time. Um, just uh, send a message to the page. Um, I don't. I don't mind if you contact me personally, um, but uh, I'll tell you what, Dion. Dion's got. Uh, we've been sitting here. He opened his up his Facebook uh, before he left to play, and he's already got a bunch of new messages. Right. So uh, maybe not the best way to reach Dion. Uh, but you can definitely email us because uh, these templates look amazing. And at the end of this round, we're going to do more giveaways, uh, including Dion said some special unannounced giveaways mm -hmm. and more templates. So it looks like we have uh, three damage. The TIE Fighter blanked out. Sure and did. Yeah, dead TIE Fighter. So sure did. So Gurry, MVP. Yeah, a couple more ships, like I said. Well, that was a cheaper ship, so uh, that was what we were calling Red One. Red One. All right, everybody else is untouched. Tie Fire's trying for a shot, but 
it looks out of arc or and or range. So it looks like just uh, the quad jumper there for two. Uh, and Gary's got to take him. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Sir Wolf 77 points out. Uh, Gurry gonna get tractored next turn. Yep. <laughs> uh, yep, 3 4 tractor beam right onto the rock. Um, but you, you gotta decide do you curve barrel roll them or do you go forward and hit the rock either way? Um, good question. Now, uh, what we haven't seen, though, is that uh, Dan might recognize this and give a little Virago out there. <laughs> nope, we're into the planning phase. I think this would be a good opportunity to Virago if you could. Be a boost, right? Um, is there room to boost? Uh, that's fair. He already failed it one time. I mean, yeah, I guess if you're going to do it, now's the time, huh? You'd still get stressed, though, which then you can't advance sensors. Mm. So you got to make it count. Uh, Virago costs two more points than just a shield upgrade. Uh, right. So but you pay one point per red boost in the end phase, and that's pretty reasonable. Sure. And it just sounds cooler than shield upgrade. <laughs> Um, does it give you uh, a, another upgrade slot like it did in, in yes. 1.0? Yeah, it gives you a second mon. Right, okay. So you could, in theory, be 8 health, Gary, with a hull, okay. shield, and virago. There you go. Well, I think afterburners is better than, say, a hull upgrade. Yeah, I like afterburners. It's expensive, though. Isn't it like 8 points? It is 8 points, yes. Yeah. So you really need to make use but the, of it. The ships that are taking it really need it, like uh, Tide Vance. Uh, Curaxes, um, the uh, Star Wings. I guess I haven't seen uh, Luger Wedge with Afterburners yet. I but put it on my uh, my corn horn. That's a good idea. Can you link off of that then? What would stop you? Yeah, uh, I, th I think so. Get a target lock out of it. Mm -hmm. I think so. I guess you would be stressed then and you couldn't take a regular action. So you might as well just. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's after your maneuver, but before you perform action step. I guess that's true. So you wouldn't get anything out of it. So a little tractor beam there. Did go with the 1 4. Didn't take any damage. <laughs> Gary still has her advanced sensors. Uh, which is going to help her dodge some arcs. I don't like Drea's placement here. Drea's kind of going away. But it is John's most expensive ship, so... Yeah, sure. Keep it keep it a little bit more protected than the others. Especially when that TIE Fighter just got one-shotted. Most likely a sloop here. Yep. Crunch Jumper's got a goofy dial, but they're really good knife fighter. Uh, t one bank reverses, two reverse, two sloop, hard ones... Like, it's got every maneuver to just stay in yeah. one little area. Oh, that's true. And they want to stay close. They want to either bump or tractor or both. Mm -hmm. not, calc or, uh, not coordinating very often with the L3. Yeah, just try and just hang out. Yep, rotates reverse here. So it does give a pretty good Dre arc out there. <laughs> and because Gary uh, has, like I said, has advanced sensors, and uh, as she won't hit the rock coming off of it, still has to perform action yeah. step. Yeah, I was trying to decide if there was a barrel roll that would force her to cross the rock. I don't know that there was. I couldn't see it on the board, but a barrel rolling Gary to her left and yeah. then curve in. Yeah. But you might actually curve with that, <laughs> I call it a manatee or a dolphin. Right, 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 and then uh, end up kind of going, like, avoiding it altogether. Yeah. So it looks like Gary's leaving, or just trying to stay out at range three. Yeah, maybe. Or dodging Drea's arc for no rerolls. Nope. Just yeah, looking for a better approach. Nope. Just hanging out. I don't want to fight because I'm tractored. And yeah, that should clear range and call the round. 
All right, so we have Gurry pointed the wrong way, but obviously has a lot of. <laughs> I think she was fine. <laughs> a lot of ways to get turned around. Uh, uh, she's a little limited now with the the barrel in. But here's the other thing: John needs to make the guess. I can draw. I love this drawing thing. We should have had this years ago. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> so John has to guess: Is Gary going here? And hard one in there. There's a little square. That's where she was. So right. barrel roll that way, cut in here. Or is Gary doing the opposite, coming in here? That's where her base would be. And then cuts in this way. And then could even boost, boost. towards Drea. Yeah, sure, sure. So those are two very different trajectories yeah. this, uh, this um, Gary's going to take. And this is kind of the problem against... Uh, we saw this in the Kylo versus two Upsilons, is that when you're fighting something so maneuverable, and you kind of aren't, uh, you have to uh, split your arcs and yeah. uh, cover as much ground as possible. Definitely. The problem with that, then, is that you don't have as much concentrated fire on her. Right. Right. So it looks like this... This quad jumper is coming in to catch the uh, the bear roll and hard one out to uh, Gurry's left. Let's see, we got the tire fire clearance stress here. It's coming in. Uh, and it's trying to get as many arcs into that corner as possible. So you got, like I said, you got to keep them a little bit wide, just to maintain a, a balance here. I really did enjoy uh, flying the Z95s with this. And I really like their two shields and four health overall. Yeah. But I can very much see that. Uh, now, now seeing it a little bit more on the table, uh, the fact that the TIE Fighters have hard ones, just like the quad jumpers. Right. They're, they're as also, and bear rolls. I guess right. Z95s have bear rolls, but the fact that both of them can hard one and bear roll every round is very interesting. So we yeah. got Drea here moving her arc. Once again, Drea's arc. 180 degrees here, covering basically this whole section of the board down there, uh, which is a lot. Uh, see, see what risk Gary decided. Yeah, exactly. It'll be interesting. Okay, going this way. Yeah, I didn't really want to fight those uh, all those ships head on. See if he risks the hard two. Probably just hard one though. Yep. Hard one. So um, a pretty good read here, though, by John. I mean, I guess he um, uh, went for both options, really, or covering both lanes, um, but definitely set himself up for uh, maximizing shots on Gurry, regardless of which way she went. Here's the shot from Gurry. Oh, there, could no, there couldn't be any uh, afterburners because of... Uh, the requirement they had to go fast can't hard one after burners. Oh, uh, true. Oof. Drea with two. Uh, Gary takes one. Go ahead, I'm just stopping here. Uh, which would be enough to score. Uh, the, th the three damage equals uh, a lot of points all of a sudden. Yeah, all right. Here's a shot from uh, Gunrunner. Had a barrel. So crit, re crit. Ooh. Blanks. Triple blanks. That could be it. Doesn't help, but makes anyway. <laughs> it's okay. That's fine. Uh, things with a lot of text, so that's not good. That's usually not good. <laughs> Probably like turns are red, and if you overlap, you take damage. I'm just guessing. Oof. Yeah, uh, that's game. That is game. So a quick one here. Um, 
unfortunate that our last game couldn't have had a little bit more drama, but this was a hard matchup for Dan. We, we knew it from the start. Oh, yeah. And John played it extremely well. Um, how do you fly this many ships this late in the day? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, consistent rhythm. Do, uh, it really helps if you just do the same thing with your swarm every round. Sure. <laughs> right? Sure. Like, that's, that is the benefit of the Drea Swarm is that you don't, you can spread out. You can be a little bit more loose. Uh, you don't have to be that, uh, the tight formations of a how Runner Swarm. Right. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, I think, I think if you are flying a swarm, it's, I'm, easy assist isn't the right word, but uh, it's the least structural. Yeah, most forgiving. Yeah, exactly. Because, uh, yeah, look at, look at this, look at this range of Drea's here and this TIE Fighter was still getting that shot. Sure, like, sure, sure. Uh, uh, if you, you could, it's, it's technically more than range six, because if Drea's here, has all the way out to range three, but your base is just there. That means another person all the way out over here at range three is still getting that modifier. Oh, I, I, oh, I see. Sure, yeah, yeah. That's kind of crazy to think of. I never, I never thought of it that way coming from both sides. But yeah, sure. Well, they're not normally completely surrounding things. Right, like that. right, right. But that flexibility is what what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Oh. Yeah, because I, I normally had my Drea come up one side and then kind of my quad jumpers come around the other way. Okay. So it kind of it sometimes created this range six howl runner. Which, <laughs> sure. Which is, the sound of that is outrageous. But all right, I guess we're going to wrap up here. Um, let's do some giveaways quick. Yeah, why not? We got plenty of time. Let's uh, switch back to, to our intro. Love this intro. We play it every time. Over here clicking. Sweet. The gold squadron Y wings. Oh man, blowing stuff up. All right. Oh, uh, that's the table view. Hit the booth. Oh, it's us. Hello. All right, let's do. You got your piece of paper with your writing things down? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I do. Okay. All right. Uh, giving away once again. Um. Let me find them. Let's, uh, we got, not these. We already gave those away. We got, uh, we're going to start with, you better subscribe right now. I'm going to show them off first before going away. We got the Duchess, so I got to put them on the other side. Got the Duchess casting indoor combination card. You got Transrotion Slaver. You got Red Line. You got, and you got Nora Wexley. Uh, you better subscribe right now. People subscribing. Lots okay. of gunboats. Oh, uh, well, it was, all right. Uh, people have already subscribed. They're excited. So let's start with, uh, let's start with the Nora. We'll end on the Cassian. Start with Nora. I can't tell. I'm covering up my own screen. Nora is going to uh, Paratus. Paratus, congratulations. Alt art, Nora Wexley. Nora Wexley. Remember, if you win our drawing, please email goldsquadronpodcast at gmail.com and send us your information. Yep, send us your, your user ID and your address uh, and your name. I guess we don't need your name. We could just send it to you, Paratus, at your address. <laughs> uh, your mailman's going to be weird, but about it anyways uh this is the red line then red line uh red lines going to x-ray x or x-ray 8763 congratulations x-ray yeah been following us for almost a year now thank you all right uh we got the trench ocean slaver here slaver 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 uh very cool and that's going to Synchrotron Manager, who I this drawn a blank now, but we uh, Synchrotron Manager is always a or merger. I forget what it is. So but. I yeah I I asked him this before. MGR are his initials. 
Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was for the Trandoshan Slaver. Congratulations. Yes. Thanks Congratulations. For, thanks for your support. Yeah, always hanging out with us. We're going to go with, uh, uh, oh, Sir Timolot. Uh, it's not quad jumpers, but you get that you get that dual Duchess and Cassian Andor combination card. It is two cards. I'm just putting it really too close together. You can see it's two cards on the back. Sweet. Uh, cool. Um, we already did the Patreons, is that right? We have not done the Patreon. No, this was the Patreon. I think, oh, there was the whole joke about... No, that was the Twitch... Those are the Twitch templates. Oh, so now the, we're doing Patreon. The now. cranberry ones. Cranberry. <laughs> our <laughs> our right. uh, Patreon. Well, uh, do we have the Patreons up right now? I think they're on this computer. All right, double check those Patreons. Thanks again, uh, Sir Timolant. Like I said, uh, email us, Gold Squadron uh, Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, hold on. One second. All right, we're back uh, with the Patreon giveaway, right? We did Twitch last time. Did you populate the, the I, thing? I don't know. Is this... This is like an alphabetical list. Does that help? <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of, but no. How does uh, he want us to do it? Uh, what, what happens if you click manager instead of relationship manager? <laughs> no, don't do that. Go back to relationships. Can go member types. Go active Patreons. We have 515 or 517 active Patreons. And then... Oh, I can export them. <coughs> to, uh, sure. <laughs> then we pick a random number from there. Yeah. <laughs> Take the members. Does that open up to something cohesive? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are they... We're on to something. Are they numbered? Um, they sure are. The Yeah, the columns are, or the rows are numbered. All right. Uh, so I'm going to double check with Dion and then he's going to tell me a random number if we're, if, if we make sure that this is eligible to all Patreons, but it's this beautiful Karenberry. We got, we actually got to talk to, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> um, oh man, who is it? Andrew Knuckles. Andrew Knuckles, I'm sure can tell us that this is not Cranberry or whatever I've been calling it. Um, but yeah, we're just going to double check with Dion. And then we're giving away those to Patreon. So you can, you can sign up last chance, last chance to sign up. It's uh, patreon.com slash gold squadron. Okay, I figured out how to get a random number in here. So we, oh, can, we got, we got, I got to just double check, make sure it's, for sure. it's all, it's all Patreons. Dion's right there. I'm just going to yell at him.
We're holding on. He's he's shaking dice furiously. He's in the middle of the game. Uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll give you a couple more moments here. Do we get any uh, recent subscribers? Um, we, pro we probably do. No! 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 Huh? Yeah, notifications would tell us. We do. Who, uh, who uh, signed up today? Uh, today, January 12th. Yeah, oh, you don't have to say their name. Just say their, how many people. Uh, oh, show more. How many more? Lots more. Lots more? That's good news. January 12th, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new patrons. Thank you very much. Uh, once we, uh, Patreons were the reason uh, we're going international this season. That's pretty awesome. Yes. That's exciting. 500 is a lot. Uh, it does have varying ranges, but that's enough to... I was trying to, <laughs> trying to get you there a little bit. Uh, but that's enough to actually go out and be able to stream all these other things. Last yeah. year, Patreons were able to get us to every major event in the United States. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Which is, uh, uh, Dion, Dion's a constant, he's like a, a workaholic, but he, I don't know the word for like, uh, like, I guess overachiever. Yeah, sure. He, okay. well, he wants to deliver <laughs> the best possible content. I know right. that much. But he's, uh, <laughs> being able to do every major event in the United States was like, well, why just the United States then? We got, yeah. we got to top that. We got to raise That's the right. bar. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, Dion's never, never satisfied, except for maybe with that role. Yeah, it looks like he, <laughs> looks like he uh, got punched in the gut a second ago. Ooh. But uh, he's still rolling dice. We'll get him over here in a second. We're interrupting his game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, I think they're. Uh, Fort, ha I think uh, Fort, not Fort Worth. Is it Fort Worth? Yeah, uh, Fort Worth, the other Indiana team. Kind and of. And uh, Chicago are more or less playing for fun currently. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's they're fair. playing not to take the cake home, which is. Uh, yeah, there are some pretty nice last. Place prizes did they leave for the cake this tournament. Over here? Oh yeah, this they is did funny. leave the cake over here. I'll show, I'll show this off to you guys. Oh, I would kill some time. Let you show up to uh, or uh, subscribe to the Patreon. Yeah, this is somebody got this for last place. It's not ours, but somebody got this for last place, and it's so funny. I'm sure the people at Meyer loved <laughs> <laughs> making I, that cake. Uh, I hope they got it with no explanation. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, I hope it was like some like 50 year old mom too who was frosting that. Just like, <laughs> poor guys. All right. Uh, yeah. If you haven't signed up on Patreon yet, uh, there's $1 subscriptions. $1. It's like $2 a month because we charge. Uh, we're actually giving you a discount because it should sure. be per episode. I spend more than that on candy every month. <laughs> like it's, <laughs> it's nothing. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's like one or two super sizes. If that's a still a thing, do they still super size? I assume so. Probably in Texas. <laughs> uh, Probably every, everything's too. super sized in Texas. <laughs> All right. Do you want any set in dials? Oh, I didn't mean to shout. Sorry. How new? How new. So we're going back to the, the last podcast. So that would be... Uh, that was just like Tuesday. Yeah. So since Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Since Tuesday. So whatever the date is, look, you can see there. And then uh, for all patrons, we're going to do a shirt. Ooh. Okay. We only have extra large. That's all right. Generic. Well, that's fine. You can, <laughs> you can tailor. So, update on that. These templates are going to be for new Patreons. 
uh, since last week. So if you've never been in Patreon, um, this, this would be your opportune time uh, to sign up. One dollar, two dollars a month, or excuse me, uh, one dollar per episode, two dollars per month, and you can get a chance to get these nice templates. Uh, then we have one of these beauties, Gold Squadron Podcast. You got your three different factions up there. Uh, got the Gold Squadron Y Wings down here. Beautiful, bright blue, which is hard to do. Um, into uh, the shirts, but we're going to give away one of an extra large. You can tailor it, but uh, give away an extra large t shirt to one of our 500 Patreons. Uh, in just a moment, we're going to give away the templates first. And then we have a few uh, surprises uh, ready at the end. I believe we're getting one. Uh, could be something that looks like this. Ooh. Who knows what that was? All right, how many we got, Johnny? One moment, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, 18. 18 since Tuesday? Since Tuesday. Uh, so what I did is I generated a random number between one and 18 in Apple Numbers, which is <laughs> okay. like their spreadsheet. Okay. Okay, I believe you. follow me so far. Yes. Uh, and the winner is number 13. Number 13. Which I and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Dark Dangan. <laughs> Dark Dangan. <laughs> Dark Dangan uh, ended up winning these beautiful templates uh thank you for being a patreon what what level was he dark is a five Woo! big supporter here uh five dollar patreon going out to him uh why don't we give a why don't we get a random number between one and five hundred and what well, do we get any new subscribers lately good question or, <laughs> new patreons is uh refresher there Oh, actually, wait a minute. Let me. Oh, does this mean that they they unsubscribed, not subscribed? Uh, that's hard to say. January tenth was that Tuesday? January eighth was Tuesday, so I went back to then. Uh, redo it. Redo it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure redo it. Because they un they un they unsubscribed. I guess. All right. Oh, you, uh, yeah. Well, got another chance then. Apparently, Dark Dagon didn't like his uh, $5 a month subscription. Which is fine. Which is fine. <laughs> There's $1 tiers. We don't mind. Right, how do we... Okay, here we go. Just, just do a. Uh... Oh, wait, now do the other one. Do the other one. It makes more sense. We'll get it. Ooh, the suspense is killing me. All I right. I hope it's killing you guys. Sam Stott. Sam Stott. Yep, just subscribed. Pledged today. Today. This is the twelfth, right? I don't know what time. <laughs> well, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> I don't know what date it is. Uh, Sam Stott, congratulations. We yeah. Need our Sam Stott. Fantastic cranberry templates. Yeah, you'll get them with the uh, probably your Patreon information. Uh, your next Patreon packet. Uh, we should have your information already. So. That's great. Congratulations. That's amazing. Now we're giving away a shirt. Where yep. all patrons are eligible. Yep, so get out of notifications there. We don't care about notifications anymore. We got to go back to the full, or your exported thing. Didn't you just export one? 
Yeah, but now what if new people play? Yeah, last chance. Last chance for the shirt. So let's get another one. You can't get Killer Beard Hawk on it. They said it was too many letters. But I got one. All right, I... what's our current total here? Was it still 517? Nobody dropped since now, right? How do I scroll? I'm, I'm not good at Max either. I don't like Max either. I'm, I'm going to create a Twitch poll right now. I do know how. <laughs> no, I was just joking. <laughs> what are you scrolling to? The end, right? <laughs> See how many there are? No, it just said before you clicked it. Go back to the thing before you exported it. Yeah, go to, um, I thought it just said at the top. All right. Yeah, active patrons. 518. Uh, make, a, make a list of that. 518, we got one. Fantastic. Okay. Ooh, 518 now. Do, 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 do. Gonna get one of these extra larges. Uh, you, yours won't have any beard hair in it, I swear. <laughs> How do we? Oh, here we go. Okay, equals rand between one and five eighteen. The magic number is four fifty one. Four fifty one. So we got. I don't know what that means. Number four fifty one. Now we got to scroll down to four fifty one. It's gonna take. It'll a take a minute. <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we're gonna do the uh, the intro. Uh, the intro video. Twitch Prime. Uh, you do have to click it every 30 days. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. It gives you one Twitch Prime subscription per month. Also, patreon.com gold slash gold squadron. Uh, so you are eligible for more giveaways and uh, prizes and things. Uh, also, look forward to our new content coming out on YouTube. Um, we got some, uh, oh, thank you for the subscription. Uh, but we have uh, a couple new series coming out in addition to our weekly podcast and quick tips. Um, and I think uh, in a couple moments here, mm, maybe they'll do it tonight. Um, but we got, <laughs> here you are. What, what do you got here? And the winner of the shirt is the shirt. Scott. N. Lahenny. Scott N. Lahenny. Or Lahaney. Where is he from? Maybe there's more than one Scott. Oh, does Dion send internationally? Ooh, I'll ask. I'll ask, Scott. All right, congratulations, congratulations Scott. Scott. Scott from Australia uh, is getting our extra large T-shirt. Yeah, we're Patreon. Uh, oh, we don't. Oh, uh, to be fair, yeah, to be fair, Australia is uh, slowly, slowly going to be our turf. Yeah, right. Uh, Host because we're we're going down there for the national. I believe they're holding their their uh, national. Yeah, and so, they're uh, uh, they're helping to put Dion up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. So he can just bring it with him. Yes, I don't know. Scott well, will be there. Scott, Scott, you better go to the Nationals if you're watching. I guess he's probably not watching. It's probably like 3 a.m. there. Yeah, what time is it in Australia? You could ask Google. I bet he's not. I bet he's not watching. That's fine, though. He'll he'll watch the video later, maybe. I don't think we record. The, I don't think we're posted this. Uh, mostly us just hanging out. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess they probably don't watch the games. <laughs> not, <laughs> not us just talking. No, it's like noon. Oh, it's noon. Oh, would you look at that? It's probably there. Why aren't you watching, Scott? He might be. I bet he's talking to us. We don't even have the chat open. We're not even. I know. I, uh, do we? I don't know. I had the chat open just a second ago. Where'd he go? Oh, but it is tomorrow. That That might be important. 
Who watches on <laughs> Who watches who on watches, Sunday? Who watches tomorrow? <laughs> Okay, I don't know what else we could do here. Um, we were trying to kill some time before Dion show. I'm going to do that to the papers because I think that's always what people do. That's the signing off. <laughs> that's the universal. Yeah, I've watched, I've watched news a couple times. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, we're going to be heading back. If uh, um, oh, I'm going to bother Dion one more time because they were talking about announcing something tonight. Yeah, Dion, uh, his match is probably done in 10 minutes, so he might come by and sign off. I don't know. People probably have better things to watch on Twitch. Right? People just switch. They're probably watching uh, Fortnite. What? I would think. <laughs> no. The Leak. only thing I watch on Twitch is Guitar Hero videos and That's pretty good. I like... Uh, when they do like speed runs of classic games. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. I feel like they're cheating though. Oh like. yeah, they're totally cheat. I mean, cause <laughs> right, cause like if you walk up to a certain wall and spin, then it like teleports you four levels mm -hmm. ahead. All right, Dion's done with his match. Are you call it or what? <laughs> Not worth. It. Wait, um, I just I had like three hole left. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, and so, against three ships. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let, we, we let, I want to chit chat to the people. No, there you go. Hopefully, you stayed around. <laughs> Jump on in. All right. Go around those ones. First, hello, everybody. Hope you all doing well. Um, so, to the beautiful people out there, first, let me say, Johnny, thank you so much hey. for coming out and no casting. Problem. Will, I know you can see his hand right there. That's his hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for them for holding down the fort. I'm going to bring in a friend here, uh, my last opponent in the last game. How's it going, Luke? Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, we got to put the, put the uh, put put your mic down. I don't know how this works. I don't have I don't have a like, super expensive stuff. It's I just it's it's just, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. It's just stuff, yeah. All righty. So um, I had a great time today, Outrider. Uh, I just lost <coughs> to Luke Carrington. That's right. It was a, fun, it was a great game. Yep. Tyler yep. Tippett, thank you so much for that Sloan list. It helped me beat Dion. And that's the most important thing that we can do here. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> there it is. So uh, what I want to talk to you guys about, I teased it a little bit over the weekend, uh, excuse me, during the podcast, and I said, you know, on Saturday we were going to make an announcement. And um, – that's why Luke Carrington is here. Um, I'm going to go grab something. I'll be right back. I'm just going to awkwardly look at Luke Carrington for a minute. I'll talk to you about who, who are you? Who are you? Hey, guys. Um, I am a painter and X-Wing player from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, hanging out with everybody. Um, just kind of looking at the chat here. Um, did you win it all, Dion? No, no. Um, Chicago and Fort Wayne are in the race for last place today. And so, I mean, it could be <laughs> we get a cake. Whoever loses gets a cake, and that's pretty much a better prize than getting second to last. So pretty much, yeah. I mean, it's it's uh it's been a, it's Go been pokes. tons of fun. So yeah, what I wanted to show is um, all right, should I show? Uh, what do we want to do first? You guess. You know what? Is that file in the cloud by any chance? I mean, it's on Facebook. You know, it's on the cloud, and I can pull it up. Let's pull it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, so while Dion's pulling stuff up and thinking about stuff, um, I'll talk more about myself because it's my favorite subject. There you go. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so I, uh, I do a lot of painting. Um, I do a lot of painting for people in the Midwest. Um, I try to help out everybody. One of, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite things is teaching newer painters or more inexperienced painters or experienced painters how to paint better because... Um, I don't know, something I'm passionate about. I do a lot with Campaign Against Cancer. I'm going to plug that really quick. Um, if you don't know, Campaign Against Cancer is a uh, charity event that we do every single year. This year it's going to be held on May 9th or May 18th. I don't know. Um, check out Facebook. There's going to be a lot of announcements about it. Check out the Gold Squadron Podcast Facebook page, and they will have announcements um, regarding what all of this is. And uh, basically we uh, raise money for charity every year. Um, last year we raised $36,000 uh, for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. There will be a 
charity X-Wing event near you, so stay tuned and show up to it and win some prizes and have some fun. Yeah, super excited. We brought our, uh, I don't, we promised on the podcast that we would bring a donation of ships and we've delivered it today. Tons of ships. Super excited about that. Uh, because one cool thing that, that Luke uh, coordinates, can you explain explain the whole thing so maybe people can, can get, get on it? Yeah, so um, I coordinate, so every year for the Campaign Against Cancer, we have um, a whole bunch of donated ships from amongst the community. Um, all of those ships come to me. I send them out to various painters, people in the community that are painting, and um, professional painters. And through everyone, it's a whole team effort. Every um, All the ships get painted, they come back. We give them out to all the sites, and uh, when you sign up, just to uh, um, when you sign up in for the campaign against cancer, you get some raffle tickets, and you can just win some of these awesome painted ships. It's just one of the benefits of going, and it's one of the ways that we help um, get money for people to win tickets, or get money for people to come to the event, and um, it, yeah, it's a great time. So if you're interested in having painted ships, come. To campaign against cancer if you're interested in donating ships please uh get a hold of dion get a hold of me um via facebook or um get a hold of dion via gold squadron podcast at everything um, <laughs> correct and um if you're interested in painting ships um do the same thing because i am because we love having um everybody from the community Every painter is different. Every painter brings new, different, exciting things to uh, um, to the art, and um, it's a yeah, it's a great thing. So if you're interested in doing that, contact us, and we'll get it done. There's a reason why my beautiful face is there in the corner. Give me one second. I just want to make sure I don't screw it up. All right, oh, we good? Check it. Have I filled enough time? You filled enough time. All right, here we go. Spawn more deal and lower. How's it going, everybody? My name is Dion Morales. I'm your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. All right. So, there it is. Luke Carrington's joined the team. We got real crazy there for a sec. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, what's going to be happening on – right now, we're, we're, Monday, Thursday? Monday, Thursday. Right. Mondays and Thursdays, uh, launch date to be announced. I think we decided – Maybe like two weeks. About two weeks from now. Yeah. Um, we're going to have uh, Luke – on the on our stream, both on face, uh, excuse me, on uh, Twitch and on YouTube, Mondays and Thursdays, we're gonna get the times out there and everything. But he's gonna help us <coughs> learn how to paint. Right. Here's an example of one of his work. You know, he's he's an artist, right? Artists never like what they do, but that's okay. It's fine. I love. This is like my favorite uh, favorite model that he's done. Let's see. Get that to focus nicely. It's a Gold Squadron X-wing. <coughs> yeah. Super excited about that to um, you know partner with Luke and uh, get you guys more content, uh, X-wing, X-wing adjacent, and this is some of the things I talked about um, you know with the New Year's video, which is it's perfect that you put put right, that in there, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> because um, you know I I'm planning on reaching out to a bunch of people. We're gonna start adding content. And, uh, again, it's every Monday and Thursday. Times to be announced. Uh, but super excited to have you and the team in. Yeah. And uh, we're going to we're gonna do some awesome things. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the things you paint, uh, the things that Luke paints. And here's, here's the added addition. The items that get painted on the show will become stream prizes. Right, for everybody. For everybody. So, you know, you're literally going to get to see – some of your possible prizes, like in the work, I just, I think that's amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be great, and we're also gonna be uh, we're also gonna be partnering with all sorts of other painters and creators. So if like you do something that you think is super cool in terms of modifying modifying X-wing ships, LED stuff, 
whatever. Like, yeah. get a hold of me, and uh, we will work out a way that we can actually work together. And you can come on stream and tell us all the stuff that you guys do. And it's gonna be it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna Abs be great. Absolutely. Yeah. The plan is to to reach out to the community, get people who are into this painting and modding uh, of ships because it's a really popular thing in the X-wing community. And we we want to get people out there. Like Luke Luke Luke's gonna be in charge of that show. I'm super excited to see the yeah. things that he puts together for it. And um, we yeah, the plan is to really just reach out there uh, and just get as much of that out there because there's there's people there's tons of people who do amazing work painting and modding who like don't get recognized just because they're they're in like a corner right somewhere doing their stuff <laughs> right so. and I mean and also if you're a commission painter and you think that man like I think that I can bring that I bring something unique and special to the X-Wing community and I want to show some of that off I'd be happy to, we, we we can sit down we can have a little interview we can uh, give you some promos uh, we can like promo you up yeah and if other people like your work then they're that, gonna come hit you and grab up. it yeah absolutely I mean if essentially if you want you help us by coming on the show right we help you by getting your name out there. Like that's it's it's a uh, and that's that's how community works, right? right it's everybody right. is work working together, uh, getting stuff done. So we're gonna we're gonna shut down the uh, the stream here. Thank you again to Johnny and Will for uh, being a part of this. Luke Carrington, welcome to the team, my friend. Um, oh. I do I do want to make one small note to all of the other people who are watching that are currently uh, that are currently watching other Twitch streams that I might be on. Right. We're not going away. Things aren't things aren't going crazy. Don't send me crazy emails. <laughs> What's happening? Right, right. It's okay. This is this we're just we're just joining all of our communities together. And we're we're right. working we're working together in order to um, help everybody else. Exactly. Exactly. So super excited. And you know what, Luke? I am I'm gonna I'm gonna let you say it. What? Gold Squadron out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or I beat you, Dion. Yeah, that too. Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> All right, Gold Squadron, we're out.